already made the rub that we're going to use. And uh, toward the end of the video, or at the end of the video, I will put up uh, some text showing you exactly what this stuff is made of, how much to use, when to use it, things like that. So let's get started. From rapidly deteriorating heat, light, and a battery in my lab mic, it's going kaput any second now. Welcome to Spooky Goodness 2.0 tonight featuring... The bison you crave from the channel that made bison famous. <laughs> Thank you, Siri. She's everywhere, isn't she? Actually, uh, tonight uh, is a celebration. I am about to hit 13,000 uh, subscribers on this channel. I want to thank you all for that. To celebrate that, we're going back. We're going way back, way back in time to a, a time when I had probably 13 subscribers. We're gonna be doing some ribeyes, taser infused ribeyes. I think originally I called this uh, recipe sweet smoky ribeyes or something like that. Anyway, one ribeye is uh, going to be a bison, that's mine. Two uh, beef ribeyes, of course. Uh, what else? Yeah, like I said, this is a throwback to a very, very old video. Don't watch it. It's horrible. Um, we're going to go inside. We're going to make some taser rub. We're going to grill up some mandarin oranges. The uh, idea for the mandarin oranges came from T-Roy over at uh, T-Roy Cooks. And Troy, uh, in one of his Q&A, one of his recent Q&A videos, he uh, kind of stopped answering questions for a moment, pointed in his backyard to show off his uh, mandarin orange tree. And uh, I took it. I'm going to take that idea and run with it. Anyway, make a long story short. I've done these with nectarines. I've done these with uh, tangerines tonight. It's mandarin oranges. Stick around. You'll see it. Into the Wayback Machine we go. is up to temperature. Coals are burning hot. Bison ribeye. Beef ribeye with taser rub. And of course a beef ribeye with tango spice. Midnight espresso for the less adventurous among us. While our steaks are searing I'm going to show you the trick to this recipe. What really makes this recipe work and work well. Remember the uh, mandarin oranges I threw into this taser rub mixture? Well, guess what we're gonna do with those? That's right. Something magic happens to citrus when it's kissed with fire. Just uh, almost sort of caramelizes, releasing all that Caramely, citrusy, nectary. Shut up, plane flying right over my head. Goodness. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say here. So, uh, after I pull these ribeyes off the direct flame, I'm going to sear up some nectarines. Nectarines, see, I'm saying it again. Some mandarin oranges, right? Like this. By the way, 
Don't throw this out. Do not discard this. This makes a killer, mm, albeit very thin, but a killer steak sauce. You gotta have it. Laugh mic battery, don't fail me now. The light is getting dimmer and dimmer and dimmer. Fire, fire, fire. All right, I'm gonna set those aside. Move them off to the cool side of the grill, of course. Time for some magic. Let's make some magic happen. Like I mentioned, when flame kisses citrus, magic happens. You don't really want to, you know, you don't want to pulverize these things with heat. You know, this isn't a, a nuclear operation. Here. We just want to uh, kind of caramelize them up a little bit, get those juices flowing. Uh, a few minutes has passed. I have no idea whether I still have audio on this lab mic or not. The battery hasn't completely died. Bring it on home here. Get off of there, you. All right. To bring it on home, we're simply going to lay our mandarin orange slices all over his ribeyes. Oh yeah. Gotta give him a little crush. Release some of that juice. They are soft. They're caramelized. They're gonna rock, man. Absolutely gonna rock. And like I mentioned, my wife doesn't want mandarin orange slices on her ribeye, so her wish is my command. <laughs> okay. Remove that. Get the lint on this. Let that finish coming up to temperature, medium rare.